Straw Hut Media. Hey guys, we are back. How you doing? Elsa, <laughs> I'm asking the people that are going to be there. Uh, uh, see, I told I'm you we'd never fuck good. up, but I do. I always fuck up and we're going to keep it. No, that's not a fuck up. Stop yeah. saying that. Um, um, so you're keeping it? I mean, how you doing? <laughs> Bro. Let me you, start again. Let me start you, again. Are you keeping it? Are yeah, keeping I'm keeping it. it. I'm, I'm meant keeping to say it. you're doing well. Oh my God, live. I am doing well. I'm okay. doing well. Wait, no, Listen, I'm going to start again. I haven't. Oh, go. Okay. Hey, Heartbreakers, we are back. We have missed you. How are you doing, Elsa? Wonderful, as always. What have you been up to? Nothing. You know what? I haven't had sex in forever. You know that's super weird for me. And How I've long? been wait months. months. Well, okay. One time, oh, one time, lies. but I feel like my life was, I felt like my life was going to end because I let him come in me oh. and, uh, sorry. The come, oh, <laughs> oh, you really did form it a little bit. What? It, I'm sorry. I'm what is sorry. that ring you have on? This one? Is that new? Uh, uh, yeah. You know what? It's, I'm not even going to Okay, come yeah. inside you. You wanted okay, to vomit. Yeah, what was it? Was it um, acid um, crumb? Okay. No, it was who did it. I felt like my life was going to end that I let this man do this just because I was like, I'm probably going to get an STD. Uh, and when I my test came back clean, that's when I was like, thank you. I'm not going to do it again. Thank you, Jesus. I will obey for the next however many months. Yes. So I haven't had sex. I'm making guys wait six weeks to have sex oh, with me. And I you know that. what? I thought that that wasn't going to happen. I thought I was gonna. it was going to take a lot of time and maybe I wasn't going to find the men that I wanted, but none of them care. I told all of them, I said, no, I'm not having sex with you. It's just not where I'm at. It's not because I don't find you attractive. It's just for me, I don't find it to be beneficial even for them. Yeah. They People want they what they can't have in the first instance. That's like the thing that sets up the rest of the relationship. Yes. And guess what? No, none of them were like, oh, cool. You're so chill. I love your stories. I love having you around. We can just chill. We can eat. We can watch movies. And guess what? Every guy has been doing that. And I, I haven't been fucking it. them. One of them, I almost wanted to fuck. And I was, I went over there and I was like, he waited the six weeks. He put my name in a song. He did uh -huh. the most, right? Uh-huh. Picked me up from. Put your name in a song. Picked me up from parties, would swoop up, pick me up. You know what I mean? Like he was doing, like he was the doing most. a lot. And then he said something really rude to me. And so I blocked him and left. And How rude. I was going to, okay. So like I said, he was doing the most. I was, I actually really liked him. I'm not going to lie. So I was a little tipsy. I go over there. He hands me a joint. This is when I was still smoking and it was rolled up like himself. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't bought from a store. Uh -huh. So I always ask people, is this all weed? You know yeah, what I they mean? Can put because stuff people in there. Yeah, put yeah, stuff, yeah. they'll even put tobacco, they'll put it other can be drugs. Less with drugs. Yeah, other like drugs. And this guy's a rapper. Like they mm. put stuff. I know that. They're do you know what I mean? Yeah. They stuff. do other drugs and whatever. Mm. So I asked him and he just laughed it off. He's like, no, it's just straight weed. I smoked it. Then, okay, so I never had been in his master bathroom before. Surprising, right? But whatever. And there was no like toilet paper. There was no hand towels. There was nothing in the shower area for Red like flag. somebody <laughs> for somebody to like bathe and like all types of stuff. Then I every single time I've been over there, I've always asked for water, right? Or a snack, and he's never had it. And I he's always had to order it so then i was like can i have a water and he had to order it again that's weird and i asked him just after the weed situation are you married is this not his house and you know who i'm talking about okay? yeah uh -huh. i go are you married he said why would you ask that and i said you don't have this you don't have that and he's just giving me a stash pad like this is just somewhere oh, where you... somewhere else and yeah. it, had a, it has a lot of his stuff but this man i'm sure has that's tons his, of things yep, yep, so yep. and he said well you know i don't live here in la i live in dc and i come visit la i said no you don't i've known you for a while <laughs> you live here and you go visit DC. But I didn't even say that. I'm just listening to this man talk. And I asked him, I said, are you married? And he didn't deny, he didn't say no. Okay. And then is this when he said the really mean thing to you? So then he ordered a pizza. He was going downstairs and he brought up the weed thing. He said, why did you say that? I said, there's not any meth in this. 
is there something like that? And he said, why would you say that? Like he started raising his voice yeah. about it. And I was very calm. And I said, why are we arguing about this? Like, and it's hours later. Yeah. Why are we very having an argument? Why, yeah, yeah. why are we having an argument about something hours later? I wish you would have told me this at the beginning that I offended you, you yeah. know, and it, the meth part was a joke, but I really yeah. am asking how much, and he knew that, yeah. you know, but it was because I had asked him about him having a wife. Yeah. And so he wanted to shit on me. Oh, he so, wanted to do that. So then you. So mm -hmm. I said, let's not argue. Why are we in an argument? Why are we in a fight? And he goes, this is a fight to you. I said, yes, our voices are raised and we're not getting along. So to me, this is a fight. So as he's going downstairs to get the pizza, he goes, that's all your trauma speaking out. This man, I never, t I don't talk about exes. Yeah. I don't want to talk about my traumas to people. It's not part of who I am You also anymore. don't weaponize it against people yes. in the middle and of an argument so, unless you've got something you've done wrong yes. that he's trying to turn the tables. Yes. Honestly, I said, excuse me, because mm. I knew what he was doing. And he goes downstairs and gets the pizza and I'm laying there and I really wanted to just go off on this man and be like, you know what? It's like, I was going to degrade the fuck out of him. But I decided I'm not stooping to that level anymore. And he used something against me that has nothing to do with him. I don't want to talk about my traumas with him i don't want to talk about he wants, he wants to space. talk about it to me yeah. and i'm always shutting it down and i'll kind of answer it here and there because he's a very emotional person but the fact that you're the one bringing up these things and then yeah. you're going to use it against me because i asked that you was had a wife after the oh yeah well the, it was after the, the weed this is all becoming the hostile weed was because first, you asked about then the, wife. the wife thing then he then he raised his voice at me and said something very rude yeah. so then i got up i got dressed i was gonna have sex with him that night because i yeah. felt comfortable enough and thank goodness I saw like a red flag because I think that if I would have had sex with him first and then he would have said something like that yeah. to me I would have felt, felt very horrible. emotional yeah. and I would have felt like I had to explain in mm. whatever and so I got dressed and I left and I blocked him on everything I did go home and cry I'm not gonna lie because it hurt me like yeah. you're not gonna bring up things that I've been through yeah. even though you're not bringing them imagine up imagine if you did tell him some things and you confided in him if I did because he brought them up he right. would when I would see him he and then would he used get, it straight away against you when he didn't that is like a piece something of shit Human. When he didn't like something I said and he didn't like that I was asking him for the truth. Mm. So I haven't spoken to him since. What so, a piece of shit. And it is disappointing, so, but aren't you yeah. glad you didn't have sex with him? Absolutely. That was the main thing, right? Absolutely, I am. Do you know what? Like what we said on a previous ep, um, hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. He is fucked up. There were some signs. He, yeah, there absolutely. Was, I can't absolutely. believe that you actually noticed the bathroom didn't have all of those things. I'm like, that is really on top of it. Oh, I'll just, like, I'll just naturally notice yes. those things. And also, I'm not looking to hook up with somebody. I am actually. If I find you overly attractive and I cannot help myself, it's not a about not having sex, yeah. but I'm not gonna open myself up to emotions, other people's emotions yeah. and my own emotions if it's not gonna go anywhere. And we had, a, like, we were emotional together because yeah. we didn't have sex. We were talking every day. All in all though, foolproof plan. So I heard there was this thing where it was saying that women now should make sure that $2,000 is spent on them first and not in like a way like buy me things. It was like, if you're willing to put in enough effort and go yep. to as many dates with me that yeah. it takes to get to that, then we can move to the next mm -hmm. level. But, you know, because if guys are wanting just a one and done thing, no matter how they spin it, they're not going to keep going on dates with you and keep, you know, paying for dinner or yeah. doing whatever if they, they want, want it just quickly. Because they're like, yeah. oh, this is not working out. If they're still sticking around after you've gotten up to like a significant amount of dates, money spent on dates and getting ready and all that. Why are you laughing? No, I'm oh, just okay. shaking. That's yeah. why I was like, <laughs> so um, But yeah. Whatever, fuck him. So then he did try to eat me out one of the mornings and I didn't like that either because I was like i told you we're not having sex so that mm. was another thing that pissed me off which i'm not were gonna like lie. hey hi, no hi. i he did come pick me up from a party and yeah. i didn't have any clothes with me uh, so i was sleeping naked yeah. and he was like humping me the whole night in his sleep Such so i knew off. so i knew that he really was aroused like yeah. even in his sleep like snoring asleep he was aroused because like, mm -hmm, i was laying next i don't know he was leg. probably having a sex like, dream excuse me then in the morning he really couldn't help himself so then he was trying to like eat me out so then i was like i checked him real quick and left oh really so went, no kitty for you yeah no kitty uh, no kitty it was not six weeks yet on the kitty Six weeks on the day he fucked up. Yeah, I know. We waited that six weeks. Literally. So you let people weeks. show you who they are. Yeah, Don't listen fine, to what whatever. they say. He showed you. Whatever. Um, and that spoke volumes.
spoke volumes. So guess what? I just saw something in the news I wanted to bring up. Tinder now has a matchmaking feature. So your friends can log in, like you can send them a code where they're able to go and do the swiping and find you someone. So you know how you want to be a matchmaker sometimes yes. for your friends? Yes. So like there's a function now Holly. where you don't get into their DMs and stuff yeah, like that. Like it's still private, but you can go and make selections for them and then pass it over like That's through good. the account. Are you going to have other people do that for you? No, but I might like to do it for other people. Oh, hell no, James. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> not for hell you. No. I mean, I wouldn't be able for to find anyone on Tinder that, that you would know want. not for me. <laughs> Holly? Yeah. I actually decided that I was going to put her up on Bumble and she said she was okay with it. Yeah, she said she was on yeah. there. She was on there the other night and then I was looking at the selections. I was like, oh, Not God. good. Oh, it, well, man. It's just making, oh, I was going to oh. say names. Oh, it's, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, she's for sure. Same ones. Yeah. I'm like, don't torture yourself anymore, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. I um, want her to find happy. Yes. Let's get into the questions, Heartbreakers Hotline. We love it when you send in questions. Make sure to email. I love it. First one is, I'm 37 male. I've always struggled with premature ejaculation. It's sad and I hate to admit it, but it's real. I don't know if this is entirely psychological or biological or what, but when I watch porn, I find I can masturbate for several minutes versus any time I'm with a girl. I honestly come in seconds. It's embarrassing. Has anyone experienced someone like me? I need to build up my stamina. Any tips would be appreciated. Um, There is a numbing spray. You can use that on your D. Yeah, there's a cream. I think and a spray that you can use to take away the sensitivity yeah I've heard of people using that why do you think he can watch porn and st- and he lasts so much longer I think it's the excitement of being actually physically Physical, with somebody yeah. also I know from porn guys who wanted to pre-pop that's what yeah, we call it in yeah. porn they would start thinking about something completely like Different, not yeah. like they would have to go somewhere like and think about something that turns them off is pre-popping like pre-cum as well like it's yeah, not pre- like the full thing though no it's pre-pop just like is they call Oh, it when the they pop, pop shot. Okay, yeah. So when they go to like do the pop shot, that do you they... sometimes get the pop shot at the beginning? So then you've got it in the can, and then like what do you keep mean? doing it, like the pop shot of like, oh, this was a good moment. Like even no, though it's at the, the beginning. pop shot is uh. the cum. They call the pop shot. That's the end of the scene. The pop shot is uh. when them coming. So you can't do it at the beginning because okay. then they'll be soft. <laughs> okay. Sometimes guys can go. Sometimes, again. yeah. A lot of times, actually, but that's hard because they want the load to be big. So he needs to use a numbing spray. Go out and get yourself a numbing spray. spray. Amazon, they'll have it. And maybe take your brain to a place where you're a little bit not so aroused if you can. Mm. Yeah. I mean, do you have any suggestions? No, I think those are good ones. I love it. The spray works. I've heard of people doing that. It's just a little bit numbing. Um, This next one is from Anonymous. I have neighbors who are clearly into people watching them because they blatantly fuck in front of their windows against their windows and a lot of the time I really get into spying that I bought some binoculars and maybe that was a little too carried away because the guy made eye contact with me I was mortified but also I kind of want to go over there and talk to them is it weird how do I talk to the neighbors and tell them their kink is also kind of my kink oh I love this one wow (sighs) that's risky because what if they're like what the fuck but, but they're clearly said that doing they made that. eye contact. Yeah. I would love to know the situation of the apartments. Like, how are they? Is it like a cross thing? And they're like, can I just they... say the binoculars are a little too much? Because like, for sure. Like, are you sitting there right in front of the <gasps> yeah. window like this? And like, how are you making eye contact if you've got binoculars? Is it a girl on? or a guy that wrote this? But like, let me just it... say. Also my kink, I think this is really hot. And I think that if you can definitely without a doubt in your mind, know that they are making eye contact with you and that they like it, do not read between the lines. It has to be very clear. And if it is, so absolutely what if they go, go and see them. And the person's like, what the fuck? I didn't notice that you were watching. And then that I'd be, be like, so stop fucking in front of your windows, yeah. you fucking purse. I'm going to call the police. Gaslight them. Yeah, gaslight them. And just tell them this is inappropriate. I'm and calling that, the yeah, cops. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to call You're the cops. It's your word against mine. You're turning me on yeah. and I don't like it. 
<laughs> You're turning me off. Oh my god. It's Thank out of you my for that control. Question, though. I'm really turned on by it. Um, okay. Next one. I need help with communicating something to my boyfriend. We're both 22 and maybe it's age or youth, but whatever. And he refuses to kiss me for days after I give him a blowjob. He says he doesn't want any dick germs or whatever because he isn't gay. What does this even mean? I kiss him after he goes down on me. I don't know what the difference is. Is he that's just immature? Immature as fuck. Yes. Like that's the most immature thing I've ever heard in my life. You can't for days. I could say days. Maybe How bad is after? his dick then if it stays in her mouth for days? Yeah. I mean, I've heard of right at, immediately after, like, yeah. somebody comes in your mouth, you're not going to go straight I up and be baby honest, bird it. Yeah. I don't want to straight away do that. And I'm a gay man. Like, I'm just like, okay, can we just give it a second? And I you always. You baby birded it? No. What is it? Oh, baby birded it. I can see the <laughs> Where visual. They come then in your or snowball. Isn't it called felching? Oh no, that's an asshole. <laughs> what is that? I never heard. I Look never up felching. heard. No, no, no. Okay. it has to do with it. Just don't Google images it. Okay. Um, okay. It is immature, and I actually don't think that there's a way to communicate that because he seems pretty like dramatic. Um, I would say you're being extremely dramatic. It actually no blowjobs then. Yeah, no blowjobs. You're hurting my feelings by not kissing me. I can see right after. But once I've brushed my teeth for days yes. and use numerous times of mouthwash, like you're being... Re- Maybe he doesn't like kissing and he's trying to make that as an excuse. For days. So, I mean, it's just too much. I am all for someone not going straight there. Like people yeah. have done that to me before and I kind of feel bad because they've had their mouth on your private parts. But you're like, now nah, I won't kiss you. They're like, dude, I just did a whole lot more than that. But in saying that, give it an hour, go brush your teeth. Yeah. then it's fine if not then he is pretty gay because why is he saying that he is yeah that's gay? dramatic <laughs> yeah. that's dramatic oh god that's really dramatic next okay. one is is it weird if i'm not kinky at all everyone these days talks about all the crazy shit that they're gonna do in bed or wish they could do and i feel like i'm over here just wanting regular missionary intercourse and then get on with my wife life I'm 42 and female. I don't think that it's weird at all. I actually think how loud people are about how kinky and slutty they are. I don't think they're, it's coming from a genuine place. I think it's just a battle this. of yeah. who's the dirtiest, who's the kinkiest on social media. I don't think majority of people are as kinky as people are trying to make it seem. But I also think that it comes with the person that you're with if they bring that out in you. You yeah. know, you can easily be kinky with somebody and not Missionary- kinky with the is next. hot. Missionary is so hot. I like missionary. Yeah. I don't think it's weird. I think that people who are being so yeah. loud about being kinky are weird. Yeah. That's what I think. And I know I'm loud and whatever about how kinky I am, but I see on social media people being like people are just scat being f- and stuff. No. Like what? Yeah, you don't you have to get that, that creative about it. You're having sex too often, then if you gotta start reinventing ways <laughs> yes. to make it hot. I mean, get a hobby. <gasps> Uh, no i don't think it's weird if you're overly kinky it's not weird either but you don't have to be one or the other be what is true to you yes and and you can have a partner that brings out kinkiness yeah it's all about comfortability i like this next one i'm 25 female and my friends with benefits has organized a gangbang for me it's always been a fantasy of mine and it's going to be a birthday present i'm so excited no one ever gets me a gangbang for my birthday Um, i had a gangbang one year for my birthday oh shit (laughs) Tell me. Oh, it was a gangbang. <laughs> that was your birthday. <laughs> I'm excited. But after, of course, a little nervous. Any tips for care and conversation before, during and after? I want to enjoy it, but stay safe. Give this girl your advice from your birthday gangbang. Communication from the jump before anybody touches anyone. Say Mm -hmm. what your do's and don'ts are. When it comes to safety, either have everybody test or make sure they're using a condom. There's a lot of people involved, which means that the risk of an STD is even higher. You need to make sure that you're telling them what holes they're allowed to use because say you're at one's in the mouth, two in your hands and you're bent over and then one comes in through your ass and you're not prepared or stretched or even what what (laughs) anal, then They can hurt you and make sure you are using a lot of lube, a lot of lubrication because you're going to you gotta get gonna one of those a, giant bottles. And just keep, also, yes. it's your birthday. So make sure everyone knows ahead of time that it is all about you and to make you the center of attention because yes, nobody wants that moment where they're like, oh, shit, I got left out of the next sequence like because someone else is like, yeah, taking over. I don't want to be at a gangbang where I'm not the center of attention. Well, Sorry. it's impossible. You have to be the center of attention. Well, I've had I very know limited many- experience with gangbangs, but the ones that I have had, well, how much is a gang? How many people does it I think it be? has to be four. 
Oh, I've had that. Okay, so that's yeah, just a four. four way. But yeah. Or uh, maybe five is a gangbang <sighs> five. I thought it was four to five. The more dicks, the better, really. You have to go in there telling them what you don't do like and don't go in there saying all right yeah. there's nothing that i don't like yeah. because i'm telling you people will get very yeah. creative and that'll and kill the mood right away it will kill the mood and also men are competitive they are mm. going to want to compete for who can fuck the best and who can yeah. do the kinkiest and whatever so say you don't like to be slapped or choked well somebody might come yeah. in and do that you never thought about that so right. think about things I had to tell somebody, don't fucking lick my eyeball. I worked with this guy <gasps> and he licked my eyeball and I never thought in my head or lick, I cannot stand when somebody licks inside my ear. I don't this like This guy, either. I was like, I, that, I had to add to, that to the list. Never knew. Licking your eyeball, I've never, that's a yes. new one. Yes. Please stay away from my retinas. <laughs> yes. Talk about pink eye. Like, oh, right. oh my God. How does that even feel? Because there's all these tiny little um, things on her tongue. Feel like what a, is it a cat like a tongue cat. yes no you know. i didn't no, have if a you cat really like my taste eye. buds taste oh, buds yeah. are tiny little blobs no, all I, over your tongue yeah i was real mm. quick like did you just lick my eyeball and then you went and looked inside my ear and i was like we gotta stop speaking of stopping i yeah <laughs> my okay. segues are the best um <laughs> this has been fun yes. i love that one questions Let's questions. Do we have some live yes. questions oh my Let's god do. i love this component uh first of all tom says uh, he likes kissing a girl after uh, he comes in her mouth. So there you go. You've got some. Yes, easy. Oh, I agree. Yes. Well, what's his name? I love baby uh, birding. Tom. I love Tom. getting a guy that let me baby bird. If they're not going to come in me, I love to spit it back I'm in their mouth. I'm imagining you being a baby bird. It's so fun. A few guys don't let me do that, but that's uh, okay. Uh, this is a question from me. Did the man lick your actual eyeball or was it just the lid? No, the actual eyeball. That's very strange. It is. Uh, that's really. How did he even get anyway? Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. You got your eyelid my shutting. My eye was open, and I thought he, he like, was just on. he ah. was just there, right? And yeah. my eyes were open, and he went and licked my eye, and I was like real quick, and then he uh, went to my ear, and I was like, oh no, that's no. my better. <laughs> no, nope, no. Uh, Teo says, Elsie, you look like a fashion icon. How are you doing with the development of your brand? Great. I think it's where I want it to be. I have worked a lot of years at Brandy. Myself actually thought in the car the other day how I branded myself. Yeah. And I branded myself a lot differently than uh, the rest of the porn girls. And it, I branded myself as a old man lover. I remember yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and That's I live in, man. and that really was how I really did like old mm -hmm. guys. And mm -hmm. I really do like older men, but I was so loud about it. That's how I kept my brand different. I think you're even doing that now, even with what, without giving too much away like what we have coming up in january is like something yeah. really interesting and artistic Different. and also you know it touches on fashion art, art and also technology like what you're doing is kind mm -hmm. of awesome and again your own path you're not trying to emulate anybody no, else no no just whatever is different and cool and then i find to be yeah. like fits well with yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like i'm like okay this is cool. no you have to feel good about it yeah, like feel good. so that's good because then it's authentic when you love mm -hmm. it i know that question wasn't for me but i feel like that well you're, sometimes you, you need a friend have, to tell you're you you're my manager yeah, yeah. so you're you are also <laughs> I know, but, yeah well you call all the shots though so like and being authentic and knowing what you want and what will feel good and also you always come back to the fans like always you always do. say like okay it needs to be some sort of angle for the fans yes and, like, absolutely so that's really cool. I mean, that's why you lost. Yes, it's important. Um, cool. Is that uh, one more question for Elsa? Have you ever been to an Arab country? Dubai, Dubai is an Arab, is Arab country. Arab, right? She just got yes. back from there. I just got back from Dubai, and I'll probably go again. I've also been to Doha, Qatar. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh -huh. I love Arabs. They're I, so hot. I love it there because I felt safer than I I felt in LA really? or anywhere in the US. LA is so damn because dangerous you know when I the one of the room service people was telling me that cussing is illegal you go to jail for two Ugh. years the laws are so so strict that nobody even wants to play with them so that's why i was like no wonder i feel so safe like, yeah you know mm. you could just feel mm. that people aren't trying to people are disciplined yes yeah. very disciplined love that yeah. thank you for Bye, joining guys. us guys have the best week to our heartbreakers <laughs> what? Like, oh my god that was <laughs> she's <in>. freezing <laughs> the after show will be on yes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> see you later